Wake up slowly Still and softly Let the moon torment still To break of day All you Feeble, easy When you see the feeling you swore Wait for the morning flood Having quite a good bit of weather today. Uh, it's been uh, quite sandy and dusty the last uh, last few weeks because, well, last one or two weeks because dust from China has been blowing in uh, from the desert. And then afterwards, we had some sugi pollen, the cryptomeria pollen flying everywhere. Uh, it's supposed to have been quite bad, but living amidst uh, the cryptomeria forest, I didn't feel it at all. So maybe it's worse in the cities. Um, uh, what do you want to say? Yeah. Uh, apart from the beautiful weather and the ume blossoms here, these are the Japanese apricot uh, where we get the ume plums from. Uh, they're not plums, they're actually apricots but we call them plums. Anyway, those things can be eaten in around June and these flowers turn into fruits. The more important thing here though, well not more important, these are more important but uh, the more major thing this week though is that the subsidy has been approved. Uh, you, you may remember that I'm uh, going to open a cafe here next, uh, well, not next year, this year, uh, and we applied for subsidy because the total cost of renovations will easily, easily range between fifty to sixty thousand US dollars, and there's a fund, uh, there's a, um, uh, a, a business restructuring anti-COVID subsidy uh, by the Tokyo government uh, that funds three quarters, three quarters of a uh, uh, restructuring project. So uh, what we have applied for is money to renovate the roof of the bottom house. Uh, that will become the sitting area with sofa, long, big, big, nice table uh, for everyone to sit and enjoy some tea, coffee, uh, maybe not coffee, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, to, to enjoy food 
there will be uh, uh, the where the storeroom that's now painted red. Uh, that's going to become a kitchen, and uh, beside that, the toilet will have a flushing toilet uh, with a nice septic tank. Uh, not just a septic tank with those bacteria and everything, it's advanced septic tank uh, and all that should begin sometime in April. So that's uh, what's going to be keeping me busy for the next uh, couple of months. The cafe is scheduled to open sometime in July so uh, I'm uh, quite excited about that. But in the meantime, today is going to be a compost corner day. So how do you make a compost uh, corner? Uh, what do you have to keep in mind? I have uh, distilled whatever I've learned from YouTube uh, into what I'm going to make down there with what materials I have. So it's not going to be the most perfect looking compost bin, but uh, it's a compost bin that will sh well, should do the job. So mm, let's go down there. All right, so this is going to be the compost corner. I've laid out the um, leftover wood from the deconstruction of this the shed well, that used to be here. Um, and the uh, kitchen area there uh, was all this wood left behind so I'll be using all this just screwing them together very simply uh, to form uh, two lots for compost here and here this will be the front with removable uh, slats and here we will have uh, slats that are not remo removable uh, removable uh, as well as the, the ones behind it those will be fixed so only the, the ones in the front can be removed but uh, there will be gaps to allow air to come in. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get started. waste wood that I have, have from the demolition of this place uh, and now I have two boxes for compost. Alright welcome to the next day so what I've been doing here is uh, for the compost bin I have put down on the very bottom uh, some uh, dried uh, bamboo bamboo shoots uh, that were cut off because they're just growing everywhere uh, and also this canter's reeds this is all on the bottom and this is from the ground there, so it has some bacteria from the ground already. And uh, on top of that, my neighbours, they made something called uh, Japanese cinnamon, cinnamon tree decorations. Those are used uh, at grave sites around uh, the period of Higan uh, when you enter a new season. Uh, the vernal equinox is coming up very soon, so lots of people are visiting grave sites and my neighbours have been making lots of uh, nice arrangements. These are the cuttings. Uh, from the cinnamon trees that have uh, they are just all around and uh, they are very nice and small so 
they can decompose faster. Uh, I've received that, this from them, uh, like this. So the compost requires a nice mix of about 50-50, 50% green, full of nitrogen, 50%. Uh, that includes like uh, manure, so cow manure and all that. I'm going to put some in if I, if I find some. Uh, chicken manure, you can add them in if you want. Uh, and also browns 50%, meaning uh, those things that are higher in carbon, which means uh, wood shavings, uh, paper, cardboard, uh, the dried twigs and all that. So 50 50 with, uh, I'm going to print all sorts of stuff I've, I've uh, eaten. So leftover vegetable peels and uh, fruit peels and all, the, all, all that. So uh, I'm not going to use any animal stuff. Uh, if I find any, any animal, uh, so for example like bones left over, uh, I mostly feed the smaller ones to Ume and Mori. But if I get any bigger bones, uh, pork ribs for example, uh, those I have to bury. I prefer to bury them because I don't want mice coming here to rummage through my... or rats or cockroaches rummaging through my, my food. So uh, meat scraps, they'll be buried. Uh, vegetable scraps, all go in here. So I've removed the plastic bin from the pile, just ripped it all up. This is subsidized by the government, so many people have it, but it doesn't work very well because there are no holes on the side, the air doesn't move about, so things don't um, compost away easily. You can see the layers I've put in. The layer that hasn't really composted is the rice husk, or the rice husk that, that I expected. Because rice husks do take some time to decompose and if not mixed in well, uh, they will not uh, rot away. So I'm going to move this over to the new compost tip and mix it in with everything else there. Alright, so uh, the other day when nori -san came with the wood shavings, you saw it in a big bag. He was discussing stuff with me about the renovations that are coming up soon. So I didn't have time to put in the wood shavings on camera. Uh, put it in late at night so it wouldn't be well, close to the night time. So you wouldn't be able to see anything. Uh, what I've done is after placing those uh, grasses and everything that you saw, I just simply lay it on the wood shavings. With shavings now wet because it rained. Uh, I went to Kyoto to work, Kyoto to work for two days. Uh, and when I came back, it rained a lot, so uh, the rain had just soaked everything. Perfect. So I don't have to water this at all. Compost needs to be wet, uh, otherwise it will not compost away. So uh, nature has done its work for me. Now I'm just going to dump my compost onto this and keep adding. Alright, I believe we have come to the end of this episode. What I've done over the last few hours is to move all the compost I have from the heap up there, up at the, the house I'm living in, to this place. Uh, the bottom house with its two compost bins. The bays have been loaded with wood chips and whatever, whatever I have from, from up there. 
and all the leftover wood shavings I'm going to put in here. I don't think it can fit, so the rest I'll use over the next few weeks. Um, but this one here should become a nice wood chip uh, pile. So I want to experiment and see what happens. I'm going to leave, leave this open so that the uh, water, water can get in and make, make this wet, make this damp, and make me soil. Uh, the two bays, I'm going to wait for about six months. So it's now May, end of May, so uh, around October, that's around uh, autumn, the compost will be ready. So I'm not going to turn this too much, maybe just once around sometime in summer when it rains. Uh, and perhaps you'll see me put on, put on a tarp very soon, uh, around, well, around May it rains a lot. So I can't, I can't make this, get this too damp. So that might be uh, a bit about the compost bin sometime then. But the main update for this will be October. So see you then.